All right, let's go. Howdy. Hello. Welcome to another episode of the Crawl USA podcast. I'm Scott. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm Jason. Woo! All right. Today, we're going to talk about high left jacks. Yeah, Everybody what? runs one in the beginning. I think you need one to hold your hood down. <laughs> uh, to hold your hood down. I mean, it's fair. Man, they're, they're scary up there, too. I'm scared to scratch someone's paint taking it on and off. Yeah. Apparently, there's a, an epidemic of them flying through the windshield and killing people, too, and in accidents because that's what everybody tells you don't put it there because it'll kill you i never, never heard of that is that a... i've heard people say it a lot i used to <clears throat> i've never heard of it actually happening sure maybe it happened once but yeah, that's a that's an interesting point um yeah people mount them to their hoods they mount them in the back they, they mount them inside. in front of their driver's door on the side yeah yeah, yeah. i kind of like that one makes you look like you know what you're doing at a moment's notice to get that jack out and just start going yeah you never know start jacking that off you might have to up or whichever way (laughs) (laughs) uh man all right high left jacks on the hood i was looking at your picture here that must have been post high lift because i don't see it on your jeep there no i quit carrying one yeah i quit carrying one too it's heavy um if you, if you go out with a group, somebody's going to have one. Yeah. Right? But not everybody's going to have a bottle jack. So that's my contribution to the party. Yeah, yeah. So the first thing I have written down here, and I added to it, have you ever really used one on the trail? Yes. Successfully? Yes. Okay. Talk to me a little bit about that. <clears throat> so um, they're they're pretty handy if you want to lift your rig up from the slider you know because you're certainly not going to get a bottle jack way up there um so yeah i was turtled on a rock and pretty bad and used it on the slider and a couple guys shaking it got it off Hmm. all right um how many times have you used a, a high lift unsuccessfully um At least once, I don't know. I mean, it's bound to be one time where yeah, it just can't didn't get it under shit. It's yeah, it not just didn't work out. Stable. Another time, I it was used successfully was when I was stuck on that step on uh, the shaft where I broke the axle shaft and the drive shaft. Um, yeah, that the high lift was pretty uh, instrumental. Am I getting you out of there? Yeah. Well, that's good. All right. Um, all right. Well, that's pretty interesting. You've had better success than I've really seen with it. Uh, have you ever used one as a come along? I haven't. I don't even know how to use it, honestly, like that. Um, well, you know, it's a ratchet and it ratchets both ways. So you can, you can pull or push. You can also use it to, to push some things apart, you know. Hook the... Mm-hmm. If you can get them hooked in there Mm. all right um in fact it's a long beam ratchet jack not a farm jack it's been called a farm jack also yeah when i was a kid on the the farm in the last century um automobiles had these jacks that were very similar maybe you've seen them right you had a tire iron you had this little it's kind of like a box. It would go on the beam with the with the teeth, and that thing was, uh, as I remember, it was like triangular, and then had a little steel base that you'd put it in, and you you know it had a little switch on the side like a high lift, ratchet it up, or it would ratchet down too. Dangerous as all get out. 
but a lot safer in a driveway than on a trail. In fact, if you get a high lift, you should practice in your driveway where it's safe. Well, that's the next question. I mean, can you go to a high lift and immediately know which way it needs to be flipped up or down for it to work? You have a 50% chance of getting it right. Yeah. Huh? And I think it says on the side. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. I've uh, never really down. read the instructions for one of those. Um, man. All right. So I don't know if you know, but what's, what's, how come they don't work sometimes? Like you flip the damn thing and it doesn't go down or then it slides all the way down. Is that just the um, properties of them? I mean, they get dirty, you know, it can get, you get a worn parts. I mean, it's, if it's used a lot, I don't know. I think it's, it's mostly, you know, they just get gunked up with debris, dirt and rocks and shit. And, uh, and and it's not fully engaged, right? I mean, it's there's there's a spot where that switch, you know, clicks in, locks in. All right. I'm not very familiar with them. I'm um, making most of this up. <laughs> uh, have you seen, heard a story, or been around one when something went wrong and someone got hurt? Luckily, no. Right, but... Um, I mean, everybody knows they're dangerous. There's there's a lot that can happen, right? Because the the jack usually is not super stable, right? So the vehicle needs to be stable, and that's what you have to think about. Is if you're using the high lift, is that vehicle shifting? If it's going to shift, how's it going to shift? Right? Where's it going to fall? Where's the jack going to fall? Is the jack going to cave in your door when that happens right um i think most people are super careful you know they don't want to get their teeth knocked out or break an arm or something like that with the the handle flying up or the jack popping out but um you also have to think about where where things are going to go once you start moving it because it's going to move when they things go bad yeah i mean i think well, even when you when they're not going bad, when it's going good, if you're using the jack and you're you're jacking the vehicle, where where are all the wheels? Is anything going to shift? Is something going to fall off a rock into a hole? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I think, I mean, I remember when I was a little kid. Uh, man, my grandfather got a pickup bed full of hay real high over probably weight of the vehicle. It's probably an F-150 too. Um, and jacked it up and the thing slipped and I don't know what happened, but the handle came up and hit him in the mouth. Oof. Yeah. Well, you just remind me, there's another time we used a farm jack successfully was, you know, this is probably 40 years ago, 35 years ago. Um, we were driving back from a job, uh, I think in Hobbs, and um, we got around uh, Vaughn, somewhere around there, and there it was raining, and there was a, a farmer, and he had a load of hay. An old dude had this load of hay on a flatbed, and it was, it was a big load, and it was sliding off. You know, it was in the wet grass, and sliding off into the ditch. And um, we were able to use a farm jack and jack that corner of the the trailer up and you know keep sliding it back over pull him out of it yeah Yeah, that's pretty crazy um for the casual wheeler now would you recommend someone to carry one really well yeah if you test it out you know learn how to use it at home where it's safe you know you don't want the first time you ever think about how to use it to be in a bad spot. You know, even if you read the manual, if you're like me, you're not going to remember any of that. Yeah. You know, yeah, I read the manual like three years ago. Never used it. That That's not the scenario you want. Uh, so if you recommend someone to carry one, why aren't we carrying any? Wait? Uh, wait is one thing 
Um, I have one back at the trailer. So it's not like I don't have one at all. I just don't have it in the rig. Um, yeah, I think a trailer, it'd be good to have one on a trailer. Yeah, so I have one in the toolbox Something on the like trailer. That. Yeah. I mean, there's a floor jack in there too. Yeah, which leads me to the next thing, right? So you don't carry the high lifts. Um, so you said you carried a bottle jack. Been real successful with the bottle jack over the years now. Well, it's a lot more, it's useful in more situations. But here's the thing, you know, you people will say you need both and it's it's not wrong because there's some things you can do with a high lift that you can't do with a bottle jack and there's some things you can do with a bottle jack that you can't do with a high lift. But for most of the stuff that goes wrong um, or has gone wrong for me, us, the bottle jack has been the tool. I feel a lot safer too. Yeah, you can make it a little more stable, it, it seems, right? And it's only falling 12 inches instead of yeah, stacking rocks three and... feet, right? I mean, I think that's pretty important with it. Um, I don't think you have any experience with it, but we've seen them now. Um, the the Mojab. That thing looks cool. Right, and ARB makes one too. Um, I'm not sure how they work. Hydraulic pressure? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I th Probably. I mean, didn't look like a screw, right? He pumped it. I yeah, mean, we saw him. It. He demoed it at, uh, Trail, at Hero. Uh, Trail Hero. And we saw that. And yeah. then our, our, our friend bought one. Yeah, yeah. Seems a lot safer. Not so much ratcheting, so much having to make sure the lever's in the right place and then it drops on you all of a sudden. Well, it's pretty compact. Yeah, and you know, light. Light. It seems like... I think if you were to carry one, I think that'd be the one to carry. I think they're a little pricey, but for the safety part of it, it seems like a good alternative. I've only heard good things. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't see a downfall in carrying that as an alternative, and, and I, you know, it's kind of like the going from a steel cable to synthetic. I don't equate it with that, right? No. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. It's definitely more modern. Yeah, it's a it's a better mousetrap, maybe. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, and the bottle jack too. You you've got to maintain that. It it has to have hydraulic oil in it. You know, if you let all the oil drain out, laying on its side with a dry rotted plug or something, it's not going to work for you either. Mm. So. All right. Good. What else? You got a bunch of notes there? Anything I missed? Uh, I just uh, looked at the high lift. It was invented in 1905 by P.J. Hera, and I guess uh, high lift now has a P.J. Hera signature model. It is. I don't know if you read this. Is high lift like Kleenex? It's just the brand? No. Well, it is a farm jack or a ratcheting yeah. jack? Yeah. Yeah, but I think it was the original. It was called the automatic combination tool originally. Hmm. And uh, it's been called the shepherd's jack. Um, so in the 60s is when it became commercially known as the high lift. Hmm. And there's a special edition one. Yeah. Hmm. It's good. It's good. Comes with a set of false teeth. <laughs> All right, good. What else? What else on high lifts? Uh, it says here they're rated for 4,660 pounds, but they've been tested to 7,000. Oh, you know what? I just thought of another successful use of a high lift jack on one of our um, trails. Yeah. It was used as a skid. Oh, under right? that. When, uh, when Tim broke his uh, wheel off at the flange. On a, a pretty gnarly trail. I think that's been the most successful use of a high lift I've seen. Yeah, because it is in the desert, so no logs laying around available to use as a skid to drag them out. So that high lift uh, beam worked pretty well. Yeah. Um, man, okay. Well, that's, that, is a, that is a good... I think that's a good alternative. I think that'd be a good use for it more than anything. Look, for me, 
I don't want anything to do with them. I, I'm glad someone carries one for us if some if one of somebody needed it, but I don't want to be around it. I don't want anything to do with it. I'd rather get dragged out, bottle jacked, blow it up, anything than mess with. Light it on fire and yeah. leave it. Call it done, man. I don't like high lifts. I think they're dangerous. Well, a lot of stuff's dangerous, you know. You just have to be, you have to really pay attention. You have to be careful when you use them. Um. That's my vote. Let us know what you think on high lifts. Um, if someone has that Mojab or the ARB, put a comment in. That'd be great. We'd like to hear a little bit more about it. Um, and hopefully we get an opportunity to see it out on the trail. Like, like you said, we saw them at, at Trail Hero. It looked great there, but on pavement and everything, it was fantastic. But yeah, let, I, let us know what you carry. Yeah. And why. Let us, you know, let us know how your hoods are. All right. That's what we got on this one. Uh, we appreciate you taking the time to listen to us. We'll see you out on the trail. Later. Later.